Think twice the next time you text or send an angry message or photo on social media. I feel like it's ridiculous because we were all guilty in the same offense. 26-year-old Kristen Holmes was just arrested, accused of harassment by computer. And I admit I was childish and argued as well. Everybody was arguing. Kristen says she was mistaken for another woman, so she posted this photo with the caption, I'll post a few actual pics of me so you know the difference when you, quote, come find me. Then words were exchanged that we can't say on TV. What happened to freedom of speech? And it was just a picture. It wasn't a threat. And so the next time you go on Facebook, remember, Holmes admittedly posted ill-conceived things on Facebook and now faces a class one misdemeanor that could lead to a year in jail and up to a $2,500 fine. And there's no such thing as a petty crime. There's no such thing as a petty offense. Kevin Carroll with the Fraternal Order of Police says, according to state code, using a computer to send vulgar or indecent language or to threaten illegal or moral acts could get you slapped with the same charge. You're arresting someone for using bad words? It's actually against the law to say it in public. Okay, curse and abuse. It's part of the disorderly conduct statute. If it's against the law to say it in the public, why wouldn't it be against the law? to say it someone through a computer. I thought it was a funny picture, and then I realized later that it was a little bit intimidating, so I took it down. But Holmes ended up in jail because someone shared the Facebook messages with police, who then took out warrants for her arrest. The real message here? Be careful what you put on the internet, because you can go to jail for it. Facebook thugging is a crime.